Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the new vlog. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so today we are doing the show me a photo of challenge, which is so exciting. It's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And also I thought that I would say at the start of this vlog to go like and subscribe because I realise that every single time I forget to do it. So go like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to do it guys, like I forget to do it every single time I film a video. Anyway, here we are. Let's get right into this video because I have quite a few to do. So this morning I put something on my Instagram and said like, hey uh, guys, give me some, show me a photo of ideas like any classic YouTube person would. And I actually got quite a few responses. So I'm gonna start from the bottom up. Happy moments. Oh, my friend from Brazil said this, so I'm gonna take get a photo of her. So, uh, in sixth form, there was these two twins, these twins, these two twins, Duda and Guilherme, who came to come to our school, and it was literally the funnest time ever. They came to our youth group, and we just had such a fun time together. Like, they were really close friends of mine, and I'm so sad that they've gone back to Brazil, because I miss them a lot. But, this photo here, here. Uh, it's so, it was so fun and we would all just like have dinner at my house before youth and then all go to youth together and it was just a really fun vibe and we just, yeah, we'd watch lots of films together and we'd just do loads of fun stuff. Someone that inspires you. I feel like I said this in the first like get to know me vlog, but my grandparents, photo here. They were, am they were amazing, they are amazing and I literally, I actually went to go see them yesterday Oh my gosh, because you know the rule of six in people's gardens. It was the most joyful, fun, wholesome time ever. Like we all sat around and had a meal in their garden. Oh, and it was just, <laughs> I've missed them so much. And I just love them so much. And I also love my other granny and my great aunt, because they're awesome too. My fave outfit. Okay, actually today guys, I've got an update. I've got an update for you. I was on Vinted, which is like a, reselling place online and uh, I was looking for like a summary dress and I was looking for it for Easter day but I didn't get it for Easter day that's so okay we, we moved past that but I found this dress and it's from Zara and it was meant to be 60 quid but I got it for 25 pounds and it was like brand new like the tag is still on it and all oh my days it's the most beautiful dress but I don't have a photo of that because I literally got it today a bad photo of me <laughs> there we go this photo was taken we were in like France a few years ago <laughs> and we did like a slow-mo my brother jumping into a hole and it kind of like panned to me and for some reason my like I was like that I don't know why I did that but I did anyway a time when you were at your happiest I find this really difficult because I can't think of when I was like at my happiest but in the last year my friend Grace became part of my bubble like maybe in June-ish time last year, just as like you couldn't see anyone and it was really hard. And then um, this photo, we had pizza and then we put like a paddling pool out in my backyard and it was literally the funnest thing ever. Like we just had so much fun and I love Grace so much and I was very happy because I didn't have to do my A-levels. I was hanging out with my best friend and yeah, it was just all, it was just so fun. That, yeah, that was definitely one of my fun memories. I don't, I'm not one of those people, I'm not a crier, firstly. You'll get to know this about me, guys. I don't like to show emotion. <laughs> Which is very bad, but I just, I just not, I'm just not a very emotional person. But um, I don't really take photos of me crying because I don't really cry. And why would I take a photo of myself when I'm crying? Like, why would I do that? But I, I always like go straight to my Bible when I'm having a hard time. And I will probably draw, even though I'm not good at drawing, or I'll like write out a Bible verse. And I found this in my camera roll, <laughs> rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So clearly I was having a bit of a hard time there and uh, I was probably a bit sad, which is understandable given the circumstances of the last year. Also, another sad day was when my jeans broke and the zipper on my jeans, and I took a photo of it because I was really sad and it was a momentous day because those jeans were beautiful. Your dog is a puppy. Matley Robinson. He was actually, so actually, interesting story this is. My dog, um, 
we didn't know that we were getting a dog, but we petitioned for like three years that we really wanted a dog, me and my brother and sister. And we like said to my parents, like, we want a dog. We even like wrote out a list of reasons why we wanted a dog and why it'd be good for church ministry. And like, we were like, we'll take it on walks every day. We'll pick up its poo. We'll do the hard work. My parents walk him every day. I think I walk him probably once a week. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, Matley, here's a photo of him. Cool. I don't know why I keep looking towards the side as if I'm like looking at the photo. Like, there he is. One of my friends has said a primary school photo. And this photo, if this doesn't show primary school, I don't know what does. And I hope my friend who like suggested this is watching this because it's got her in it because she was in primary school with me. But like, I don't know why in this photo. I'm the only one with drawing on my face as if I thought like it was a really cool thing and everyone else was doing it but clearly I was the only one and that is when I realised that I never cared what I looked like <laughs> like no one else is having a moustache or a beard drawn on them but I decided that it's a great idea but you know we uh move past that best outfit this one here I was a fashionista when I was a kid, and this proves it. Show me some of the most outrageous things you've worn. Okay, so last week I had a uh, performance with the Royal Exchange, which is a theatre in Manchester, and I'm part of their like young company. And um, we did a comedy piece, and I was playing a model who had her own modelling business and was the only model because she was a very top model. And I basically put on the most horrific outfit in my wardrobe I could think of and it wasn't even my wardrobe it's like the dress up wardrobe which is when you know that it's bad and um, here's a photo of it. it I'm gonna move on as quick as I can your proudest achievement I think this is a really hard one to answer not because I've got loads of proud achievements but just because like what makes a proud what makes something proud what makes an achieve what makes an achievement and for me it's like what I'm most proud of is like when I love people like I love Jesus <laughs> When I love people like I love Jesus. When I love people like Jesus loves me. And when I'm just kind and when I'm just simply living out God's glory and what God wants me to do in my life. Um, but that said, I'm really proud of when I did a half marathon. And here's a photo of me and my mum after we finished it. And I raised money to go to South Africa, which was really cool. And I just felt God calling me there. And I got to learn from some amazing people and I raised the money. And yeah, I really recommend if you wanna go and like learn from people, and when you feel like, oh, you're too young to do it. Like, I was 17 and I went to South Africa on my own. I convinced my parents to let me go. I went somewhere where I didn't know anyone, but it was a Christian organisation. And I just learned a whole lot from them. And I'm so thankful for that, that I did that and that I learned so much from there. So, yeah, that was something that I'm proud of. Holiday. Here's a picture of me on holiday. I went to, actually, this was an amazing holiday. Um, so, last year, you know, in the summer, when there was, like, a month window where you could go on holiday me and my parents and my brother and sister well i could have just said me and my family me and my family went to greece which was amazing and the most this is so, a good holiday and you know when you just like you need to get out of your house and you need to get out of your country and you just need to get out and we got out and god was good because we yeah we needed that you and your favorite place I love my grandparents' garden and I also love a place called Bilton Barns which is in Northumberland which is like a holiday home. My grandparents always like get the grandkids together and we go on holiday to be with each other and when I moved around as a kid the only thing that stayed the same was both of my grandparents' houses and the fact that we always used to go to Bilton Barns. So Bilton Barns is like a huge thing and I just love it and also the bookshop which is near Bilton Barns is called, what's it even called now? Barter Books and it is um, a second hand bookstore in Northumberland and all my days if you go to Northumberland you have to go to Barter Books because it's literally bargain after bargain after bargain and there's books like what more could you want? Favourite Luminosity team member? This is a very cheeky question Jonah, I'm not going to answer this question but if you want to do a video with this question you can feel happy to. Um, but yeah guys go check out Luminosity, I think everyone would love it, it's basically a really cool festival within New Wine for young people, Tiff and is quite involved with it as well, but um, I'm on their team, I'm really privileged to be on their team, it's really fun, 
But yeah, it's just so much good vibes. And this summer is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be online, which is kind of sad because we can't be like face to face. But let's be honest, any festival this year, face to face is gonna be a bit odd anyway. So I'm really excited about it. I hope to see you there. Go give them a follow on Instagram because they're awesome. Show me a photo with a funny story attached. This photo is of me and a few years ago, so we used to live in America and then a few years ago we went on like a road trip to where we used to live and then to California. So our like, the place where we used to live, Arizona, was right near California and we are like, oh let's do like a little road trip. Um, and it was like our big holiday. And we went and we were driving through Death Valley, which is one of the hottest places in, in America and one of the hottest places in the world. And our car was freezing, like so cold because everyone was like, crank the like coldness up guys, it's cold. And I was in like a little jumpsuit because when you go to Death Valley, you're not gonna be putting on jumpers. So in the car, I was complaining the whole time, like guys, can we put the heating up a bit? Like. It's really cold in the car. So as soon as I stepped out, like we went like for a little pit stop and just like to stop on the road. And as soon as I walked, I was like, it's freezing. And everyone was like, Dave, you're literally in Death Valley. But um, I was very cold, but I got warmer when I was in the blazing hot sun in Death Valley. But you know, it was cold in that car. So that's a funny story for you guys. And also to be fair, I did grow up in Arizona where like, it was very, very hot most days and almost as hot as Death Valley most days, so I kind of had that in my blood. Ooh, fave holiday or country? My favourite country is probably... I don't know, I've had the privilege of going on lots of mission trips because my parents are vicars and they are... My grandparents are also like go to a lot of places to go help with like hospitals and stuff because my grandpa and granny are both medical people. So when I was uh, a few years ago I went to Tanzania which was really cool to go visit my grandparents friends in a village there and um, yeah and I just helped out where my granny and grandpa help out and it was really awesome so Tanzania was really awesome. One of my friends, uh, this one's for you Jeffin, one of my friends was like show me a photo of you falling over and like I tried to find the photo of me falling over but Funny enough, I don't take photos of people when they're falling over, but Jeff, and if you have a photo of me falling over, I'd love to see it. My favourite pastime, reading and also um, playing the piano. I that you felt closest to God, probably when I was last year maybe, uh, when I was turning 18, like, life was just a bit awful because of Covid. I didn't have an 18th birthday, but I was actually doing the Emerging Influencers Way shout out to Tear Fund, but um, yeah, I felt really close to God because I was learning loads about justice and injustice and how to become a justice warrior and to love people like Jesus loves them and all this. So I felt really close to God during that time because I was learning from amazing people. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been very fun. I have enjoyed this blast from the past. Um, but yeah, um, what do I say now? Go like and subscribe. I remembered the one time that I did it at the start, but anyway, go like and subscribe to Tear Fun, go follow us on Instagram, go follow Luminosity on Instagram as well, you guys won't regret it, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, and I hope you enjoyed a great Easter break, but yeah, lots of love, see you soon.